Well, political churnings are taking place in uh, Andhra Pradesh ahead of the Lok Sabha polls and the Andhra Assembly polls. The latest development is that two sitting MPs, one from the TDP and another from uh, YSRCP, that is Jagan Mohan Reddy's party, switching to the rival political camps after indications that they would not be fielded as party's candidates in the upcoming elections are coming up. Meanwhile, uh, uh, we've also spoken to my colleague Uma Sudhir on this. She brings us the latest on that. In fact, yes, a lot of political churning that's happening in Andhra Pradesh and several of the leaders we are seeing uh, switching uh, from the YSRCP to the uh, Telugu Desam Janasena Alliance and from the other side from the Telugu Desam to the YSRCP as well. One, of course, the assembly elections are going to be held uh, along with the uh, parliament elections in Andhra Pradesh and it's a high stakes battle. Jagan Mohan Reddy obviously wants to get, continue uh, with a second term after unleashing a huge amount of welfare measures that he has done and on the other hand for the Telugu Desam and for Chandra Babu Naidu uh, they are uh, they would be uh, very very determined to want to uh, come to power because they cannot sit out in the opposition one more time at a time when in fact uh, Chandra Babu Naidu is also facing uh, cases several multiple cases even uh, spent time in jail in the skill development case what I must point out is that Taking certain lessons from Telangana, Jagan Mohan Reddy does not want to repeat uh, his sitting MLAs and MPs. So what we understand is that over the last one month or even two months, I must say, there has been a lot of talk about the sitting MLAs and MPs being replaced. And from what we have seen, the list of uh, people who have been announced as in charges, uh, as many as 40% of the sitting MLAs, MPs are to be changed. And those people who have been already given an indication that they are going to be replaced, they are the ones who are now, in fact, looking for uh, greener political pastures. And that's where the shift to the Telugu Desam is happening. And the other way as well, you have uh, Telugu Desam uh, leaders as well who were, as of now, uh, you know, sitting MPs or MLAs, or they have got indication that they are not going to be fielded from the constituency that they want, and they are going to be moving away. And that's where Kesneni Srinivas, who was in fact the Telugu Desam MP from bo in both 2014 as well as 2019, he has now decided to switch sides. He was a very prominent leader. Even when Naidu got arrested, we saw him all the time with Mr. Naidu uh, in the visuals. But when uh, Yuvagalam of uh, Lokesh happened and it was passing through Guntur and Vijaywada. Jay Galla, who is the Telugu Desam MP from uh, the Guntur region and uh, Kesineni Srinivas, also known as Kesineni Nani, who is the MP from uh, Vijaywada region. Uh, both of them were missing and that had led to a lot of political speculation. And now, of course, Kesineni Nani resigning from the Lok Sabha and from the Telugu Desam and met Jagan Mohan Reddy yesterday. And he's saying that uh, the alliance of the Telugu Desam and Janasena may get only 40 seats and he's ready to join the YSRCP and serve in any capacity. One more point I must make before I wind up, saying that uh, the uh, Karnul MP as well, talking about backward classes getting neglected. And Abbati Raidu, well known as a cricketer, he had joined the YSRCP just uh, uh, you know, a few days ago and within 10 days he resigned. And yesterday he has in fact uh, met with Pavan Kalyan and it is appearing that he is going to be joining the Janasena, so joining the TDP Janasena Alliance. Back to you. Well, big developments taking place in the state of Andhra Pradesh uh, right before the 2024 Lok Sabha elections as well as the state assembly elections.